Welcome to this episode of the Angry Beekeeper. It's April 26th, it's 10 degrees outside, and I am so excited. With COVID, everybody wants a bicycle so they can get outside and exercise. My parents are like, we got some bicycles in a shed. Lee, why don't you sell them? They brought them over and oh my gosh, I was reunited with the bike I had when I was 10 years old. I thought it was long gone. I was so pumped when I saw this come out of my parents' pickup truck. And I'm telling you, I rode it around the driveway a bit and it took me right back to being a little kid. It took me back to a time before stresses and pressures. And I remember being a little kid riding this bike thinking I was so cool. It was back in the 70s. The Brady Bunch was on TV, Fleetwood Mac was on the radio, and I had access to a stack of National Geographic magazines, and I could have told you where every single naked South American native photo was, okay? That's the kid I was. I had a lot of fun, I had the best childhood, but this bike just took me right back, so I'm so excited to have this bike. And just to feel the handlebars, like it just, it's just awesome, and I'm, I'm so nostalgic for it. So I'm gonna keep it forever, and yeah, there you go, my bike. Okay, now, guys, off to the bee yard. Let's get excited. Welcome back to the Angry Beekeeper. I just showed you my bicycle. I'm pretty excited about that. And now we've moved to the bee yard where things are gonna get really exciting. I'm actually going to make a little split today, okay? Some people call it a nuke, but because I'm gonna put five frames in a box, to me, that's more of a split. And in putting five frames in that box, I'm gonna put honey, I'm gonna put frames of bees, and we're gonna leave room for them to grow and having honey, room to grow, and eggs and brood, that is the menage a trois of beekeeping, okay? That's what you gotta have. All right, well, this is my little box I'm gonna make my split into. It holds five frames. That's the lid. This is the entrance where the bees can get out. I've reduced the entrance a bit because it's been kinda cold. It's only 10 degrees today, and we got a few more cold nights, but I think they'll be okay in here. I've got some unused frames I'm gonna be using to put that in the hive when I take the frames out and put them in my little nuke box here. All right, now it's time to open the hive. Oh, hive tool. Once again, we address the hive. Bonjour. Because we're in Canada, these are bilingual bees, okay? I know what I'm doing. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. I randomly picked a hive, so. Once again, lots of bees. Okay, I put my veil and gloves on. It's kind of overcast, and these bees, they let me know they didn't want me doing this. Little bit of smoke. And wow, here we are. And this looks like a frame with definitely brood and some eggs, nice fresh eggs. And I have to look to make sure there's no queen. We don't wanna take the queen with us. There's another nice frame of brood. Once again, I'm looking for the queen. I see lots of drones. When I look for the queen, she would have a much bigger abdomen. She's basically twice the size of a worker bee. And I wanna show you what you're looking at there. I hope I can, you can see it. It is, that is nice worker bee brood. That's really nice. And on the other side as well, I'll put that into the nuke, give it lots of strength. Yeah. 
And here we got a frame with lots of pollen. That shows lots of pollen. There's a little bit of fresh nectar as well. And here we have some honey up top. That's called the crown when it has honey on top. And here we have basically just a frame of honey. There's some older honey, there's some fresh nectar they brought in. And once again, a quick look to find the queen. I don't think she's gonna be on a honey frame, but you never know for sure. So now we've got a frame of eggs, a frame of mature brood, a frame of pollen, a frame of honey, and one empty frame. Now we're gonna move it away. We're gonna put it right here. We're gonna put our lid on. Put a brick on it for good measure. And now they should make their own queen. In 16 days, the queen will emerge. Seven days later, approximately, she'll go on a maiden flight and she'll mate with about 60 drones. And very shortly after that, she will start laying. And if the weather's nice and there's nectar flow, she could lay 2,000 eggs a day. Okay, so very quickly, they're gonna outgrow this box. 32 days from now, there should be cat brood in there, just like I showed you. And that tells me she's mated, she's laying properly, and that'll go off and make a nice hive. So now, the hive I just took that brood out of, we're gonna replace the frames. And because dandelions are in bloom and there's a nice nectar flow, they should very quickly draw these frames out. And that's it. And that, folks, is how you propagate bees. Our motto at the Angry Bee, I take care of the bees, the bees take care of me. Like, share, and subscribe, or it'll make me angry. Thank you. Okay, all right. So be like, hey, this we're down here at the thing now. This is what we're gonna be doing today. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. And yeah, then pause. Okay. And then we'll fix the camera. Okay, so Madonna. Okay. All right, I think we're good to go. Anytime you're recording? So yeah, so right now just do the intro, like welcome to the Anger Beekeeper. Today is whatever. Okay. All right, ready? Today's the uh 26. Yeah. Hello, welcome to this episode of the Angry Beekeeper. It's August. No, it's not. It's not <laughs> August. Let's try it again. Okay, sorry April. guys. Sorry. And basically, just keep rolling, and you can cut out the crap, right? He's gonna Skype like me it's later. rolling right now. So. Oh, it's rolling right now. Oh, so this could be like the bloopers. Okay.